All right, looks like we have the first pitch. And for the Cardinals, number one, Owen Brady is going to be up to bat. A swing and a miss for Mr. Brady. Looks like Liam Newcomer is out as pitcher for the Bear Cubs. And my apologies for the num um, excuse me, the players' numbers. Um, I believe that those were incorrect, but we will so we'll continue correct those. On. Yeah, we'll correct those as we go. Yeah, we'll be all right. We got two strikes here for Mr. Bradley. Yeah, and that'll be a third to get the first strike there for the Bear Cubs. The pitching machine can be a very devious, devious instrument used on the uh, Little League baseball field. I remember my days, but those are long past me. All right, Logan Miller is up to bat next, number eight for the Cardinals. There he got Ooh, it. Oh, and he got it in. He's going to make it over to first. And it Dude, looks like he is safe. safe. All right, and up to bat next for the Cardinal is going to be number 12, Noah Cohenauer. Noah looks like he's got an arm on him. Let's see him get a hold of it. Oof. How better that one? <laughs> That's a ball. He's got an eye on him. He's definitely watching for him. That's to be second ball. There he gets Air. it. It jumps right over the pitcher's head. Down his center field. And that's bring in. Oh, we're about to have a home run by the Cardinals. Number eight. Owen brought it in. And it looks like. That's going to be a home run for Noah. Awesome. Oh, excuse me, not Owen. Um, number eight, Logan. So that is going to put two runs on the board for the Cardinals. They're the guests here at the Akron Youth Baseball field tonight. Up to bat next is number nine, Tucker Sh Shriver. Miss there. Ooh. His coach is telling Tucker that he's a little high up there, so maybe he needs to bring his bat down just a little bit. Dial in on his swing, see if we can get a hold of it here. It's all right. Got his eye on it. Two balls, two strikes here. Ooh, just Ooh. barely missed her. And that is going to be his third strike. It's going to bring the next batter up, number 10, Xander Easterday. Two outs for Cardinals. See if Mr. Easterday can get anything moving here. Ooh, that one would have been a solid hit if he would have brought that bat down just a little bit more.
Ooh. A swing and a miss. Strike two. He's looking for it. Ball, 2-2 two -two count. He stepped into it, he was looking for it, but that's gonna be All a right. third strike. And a third out too. Make a change up. Bring the Bear Cubs up to bat, see how they're fair against the pitching machine. The Cardinals will take the field. All right, Cardinals are taking the field right now. And the Bear Cubs are getting their bats and getting ready to go out there, see what they can do. Cardinals got two runs in. Bear Cubs gonna see if they can match that and probably wanna go further than that. Looks like the Cardinals catcher is gonna be number one, Owen Brady. And up to bat first for the Bear Cubs is going to be their pitcher, Liam Newcomer. He's number three. Wild swing there. Got some dust in the catcher's eyes. Hope he's okay. All right, and the pitcher for the Cardinals is going to be number eight, Logan Miller. Ooh, that one almost brought him off his toes. If he gets a hold of it, it's going to be gone. If he just raises his bat a little bit more, I think he'd have it. Two strikes here. Thought better of that one. 2-2 two, two count. Coach just says, relax. You'll be all right. <laughs> Ooh. Close. But no cigar. That'll be three strikes. All right. Up next is going to be number four, who I believe is going to be Dane Skako. Dirty as a rock, not moving at all. He saw that that pitch. He knew it was going to be a ball. And that rhymed. I'm impressed. <laughs> Bear Cubs sitting with one out. Got to get something moving here. There he got it. Awesome. That's going to lead him over to first base. And I believe he's going to – oh. I believe he's going to stay there. Keep it safe. Keep it safe. A little high five to the coach. <laughs> Made a funny awesome. noise when the ball at the bat, kind of a clunk instead of a ping that we're used to hearing, but still went where he wanted it to. They're littler bats, Dakota. Well, yeah, just saying. <laughs> uh, number one is up to bat next. I believe it's to be Jordan Shepard. Jordan's got his shoulders raised. A little bit too much. He needs to loosen up. Caught a piece of the ball, sent it back into the fence. 
A foul ball and strike one. There Ooh, he got and he hits it. He's headed over to first and looks like they're moving to second too. All right, number eight. It, no, excuse me, number six is up to bat next, Wyatt Martin. Let's see if we can fill the bases. Thought better of that pitch. Ball one. Swing. Couldn't quite get it. Strike one. There, he got a hold of it. Awesome. And it's going to be in. Okay, here comes one of the Cubs coming in for a home run, number four, Dane. And that's leading to two Cubs being out there on the field, one on third and one on first. So right now the score is going to be one to two runs. Cardinals in the lead. And it's a Cubs home game, so let's see where they can go with this. And ball one. Throw a little batter of the Cubs. Bit late on that swing, but if he would have had it, that would have been gone. He can time it up a little bit. Number two is up to bat right now. That's going to be Fletcher Wise. Wise is getting some advice from his coach to adjust his feet. See if that helps him. Ooh, he was way closer that time. Just a tad bit slower, but he's got the right idea. I kind of just want to give the catcher some uh, goggles so he's not getting dust in his yeah. eyes. <laughs> Look, oh, he's rubbing his eyes. There he hey, got it. and he got it, so... They are going to try and awesome. That's going to give two and two. And leave uh, two Cubs out there on the plates on second and first. Cubs are dealing with one out right now. Up next to bat is going to be number eight, Logan Green. We're going to miss for Mr. Green. His first strike. He's got the right idea. He's taking a few practice swings. He knows what he's going to. He knows what he needs to do. His shoes remind me of Buzz Lightyear. They got that bright lime green. And mm. I see it. <laughs> Maybe he can uh, fly. Catcher having a little bit of a uniform malfunction here. He's got it all fixed up. He had taken care of before his coach could get out there. He knew what he was doing. He's ready to go. There Ooh, we go. And that was a solid hit. Awesome. They are going to try and get nobody out. That means the bases are filled. 
Cubs still have one out up next to bat. It's going to be number seven. He's a lefty, Colton Brown. Coaches and assistants out here helping get things all taken care of here. Catcher still had a little bit of a wardrobe, well, not a wardrobe malfunction, malfunction but his gear was a bit. Yeah, knee pad. Yeah, a bit loose. Got that tightened up on him. Now we got our batter for the Cubs. Bear Cubs, I should say. Yep. Number seven, Colton Brown. Brown's got bases loaded. Let's see what he can do. Hey, he he's going to hit it. Right oh, and it goes right past to the, the pitcher. That's going to bring in another run. That'll make it three to two. And the other boys are going to stay on their bases, keep it safe, keep it, keep the bases filled. Number five's up to bat next. That's going to be Elin Fear. Swing and a miss for Mr. Fear. They caught a bit of it. Not enough to send it out of foul territory, but he's dialing in. Getting a little advice from the coach off to the side. Ooh, and that is gonna be the second out for the Cubs this round. All right, up next is going to be number seven. I believe number seven was already up, Colton Brown. This looks like a different number seven. <laughs> Coach repositioning the kids there up on the, up in the box. Base is still loaded, two outs for the Bear Cubs. So, um... I believe this might be Nolan Brown. That would make sense if he's wearing number seven. Uh, Colton's his brother. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard one of the coaches say Nolan, so yeah, I think you're right. Or one of the parents in the crowd, so yeah. Mr. Nolan Brown there up in the box. Just borrowing his brother's shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He almost hit it there. Three strikes. That's going to give him the third out. All right. And we're going to start the second inning here soon. Right now we have Cubs leading three to two. Cardinals are the guest team here. So it looks like the Cubs are having their home team advantage on the field. It's a little bit of one. All right, while they get things set up here to kick off the second inning, we're going to take a quick word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back real quick here. Stay tuned. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. back to bring you the second inning here of tonight's matchup of uh, Akron Youth League Baseball between the Cardinals and the Bear Cubs. It looks like we have up to bat next is going to be Ian Keckler, number five. I do believe they're... For the Cardinals. I do believe they are um, finishing calibrations on the pitching machine up there on the mound. So we should be getting things underway here in a second. Oh, 
Oh, and <laughs> that popped off his bat. That's kind of strange. But it went backwards, so I believe that's going to be a foul. No, nah, we're still in calibration. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was strange. Yeah. <laughs> how it popped off and went backwards. Never seen anything like that. I think they're all set up. Okay. Yep. yep. Here, we Here we go. Here's a real game. Ball one. Ooh. Caught a piece of it. Send it back to the fence. Swing and a miss there at strike two. Ball two, two two count. Strike will be the first out for the Cardinals here at the beginning of the second inning. All right, and next up to bat is going to be Jack Ellenwood, number six for the Cardinals. Swing and a miss. I'll bring him up. Strike two. Planting his feet there in the batter box. He thought better of that pitch. We ball one for him. One two count. Words of encouragement from his coach. Let's see what he does. Ooh. Close. That's going to be strike two for this no, inning. Pitcher. Out two. Oh, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> Second out for this you're, inning. You're My good. Bad. You're good. All right. Number 11 is up to bat next. That's going to be Julian Garcia. Ball one for Mr. Garcia. A lot of chatter on the fields by the Bear Cubs. It's good to hear. There, he got awesome. all of it. Awesome, and he is headed to first. Let's see if he can get there before they can. Oh, and they got him out. That's going to be third out for the Cardinals. And the Cubs are going to come up to bat next. The game is still at a lead by one, the Cubs are. And let's see what they can do this inning to get themselves further or stay where they're at. Cardinals already out on the field, waiting for the Bear Cubs to pick up their bats. Get the bottom half of this inning started here.
All right, thank you. All right, looks like we got our Bear Cubs batter up. Okay, number nine, Elon Fears up again. Swing and a miss, but he's got the right idea. Next pitch. Ooh. He's ready to send it as soon as he gets a hold of it. Strike two for the little guy. It was close. For the first out for the Bear Cubs here in the bottom half of the second inning. Okay, number 10 is going to be up. That's going to be Braxton Martin. Yeah, ball one. Oh, excuse me, this is going to be Carter. They got a solid connection Whitworth. on the ball. That's Carter Whitworth that just did that. And previously up to bat was Braxton. He's just sitting solid on first base. Had a great connection on that ball, sending it about okay. second midfield. Up to bat next is going to be Liam again at number three. Ball one. Oh, it, Ooh, that. And that was a solid hit down to center field, almost to left field. Solid strike. He's going to get a double at least out of it. Awesome. All right. And that's going to put the Cubs back up on the board with four to two. That was number 10 that came in. And number four is up to bat, Dane. If you remember from earlier, Dane's the one that got um, pretty much helped get all of their score so far. He hit the ball and uh, Few other boys came in, him being the first one. There he caught all of it. And that's all the way out of the, oh, the park. Is yeah. out of there. Foul territory though, but it was a good solid hit. That yeah, was a good swing. Get it, get it dialed in a little yep. bit. Put it towards the middle a little bit more, he would have it. All right, make sure the pitcher can get a hold of the ball. And let's see what he can hit. Ooh, and that one miss. was just a little too far to the right. Those pitching machines, I don't know if I trust them. <laughs> <laughs> Our second baseman went ahead and stole third during that transaction, though. Transition, not transaction. This isn't money. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Two strikes, one ball for a batter. There he got hey, it. Hey, awesome, and he brought it inward, so he's going to be able to get them a run, and he's headed over to first. That's going to give the Cubs a 5-2 to two lead. Number one is up to bat next. That's going to be Jordan Shepard. See what Shepard can do here. He's got to run on first and only one out on the board. Jordan's got his shoulders up just a little too high. He needs to loosen up. 
Don't be so tense. He's probably scared of that ball just come right at him. I would be. Alright, he's uh, mm. swinging for it. Couldn't quite get it where it needs to go, though. That'll be strike one. It's alright. Strike two. Is that the right idea? Just needs to dial it in a little bit more. Get a little a few helpful words from his coach about foot placement. Maybe that'll do it. Saw that as a ball. Count 2-2. Two, two. And that's going to be his third strike. All right, number six is going to be up next to bat. That's going to be Wyatt Martin. Martin's got one runner up on first and two outs. Let's see what he can get going here for the Bear Cubs. Mr. Martin. Oh, I think he caught a little bit of that one. But it kind of sent it straight down to the pitcher. I mean, catcher, not pitcher. We strike one for him. High there on the ball. He swung a bit low. Second strike. He's going to take a step out and kind of practice the swing a little bit. See what he can do. Two two count. That was a solid one. He is headed over to first. And now we have two Bear Cubs out there. Number two is up to bat next. That's going to be Fletcher Wise. Fletcher we saw earlier with a lot of spunk. He can just channel it in to hitting the ball. I think he can get it real far out there. We get a good one out there, get maybe a few of his guys in. Get some more runs on the board. See what he can do. Ooh. So I think better and have that be a ball. Such a good one. Swing was just a tad bit low. Barely missed her. I believe that the pitching machine is just a tad bit high, but. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. They dialed that one in before we started this inning. But you never know. I don't know. <laughs> that thing, it looks like it's pitching high. It's just. It looks like second base is stealing third. Woo. You got it. Let's see if we can fill the bases. Oh, 
Ooh. I think if I've been paying attention, we got a full count on the board now. That's correct. First one we've had the game, this game. No, oh, just barely missed her. That's going to be strike three, and it's going to lead the Cardinals back up to bat. The Cubs back out on the field. All right, and that will also bring the end of the second inning. And with that, we'll take a short break, get some words from our sponsors, and we'll be right back to bring you all the start of the third inning. Thank you all for watching RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, we're back. Bring the start of the third inning. Cardinals will take up their bats. We'll be getting out here in a second. I'm not too 100% sure if they're going to do some uh, pitching machine calibrations or not. They seem to have been doing that the past uh, couple of innings to start things off, but I don't know if they're going to do that here yet or not, if they're just going to go with it. We'll find out here in a second. All right, number two, Odin Hanthorn is going to be up to bat next. Yep, looks like we're calibrating our pitching machine too. All right, looks like they're going to be ready to go soon. Awesome. Let's see what our batter for the Cardinals. See if the Cardinals can get caught up here on runs. They're down three. Let's see what they can do. Odin's going to be the last of their uh, batting order. So after him, we're going to start back up with Owen Brady. Second swing and a miss. Strike two. Kind of kept an eye on it. Get ball one. Ball two, a two two count. Ooh. A bit late on that swing. <laughs> a little bit a lot. <laughs> It'll be a first out for the Cardinals here. One thing I have to give these coaches props on is um, patience. Yes, I Lots do agree. Lots of patience. <laughs> Can't get mad. But I am imp I am impressed. Strike one for our little batter for the Cardinals. I am impressed on the kids' focus out here. Oh, yeah. 
Little league for me. I was out picking dandelions in the outfield, but these kids, these kids are all ready to go. They're on top of things. Uh, we might have one or two of them picking dandelions. Well, for the most part, <laughs> they're, 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 they're pretty on top of things. It's good to see. Oh, we got a hold of that one. Foul ball, but he clinged it for sure. All right. Let's see if Logan can fo focus it more towards the middle. Ooh, and that one would have been a good hit if we could have got it. Just went down a little lo too low too quickly. A little distraught there. That's going to be their second out. He's all right. <laughs> and Owen says, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number eight is going to be Logan Miller. Up to bat again for the Cardinals. There Ooh, we got and it. and he got it. He is headed over to first. Nothing. He, he might keep going. Coach told him to keep going. A solid double. There we go. And he, uh, the other coach is saying, stay back. <laughs> stay back there. You thought about it, but, yeah, better play it safe. Definitely. Cardinals still down three runs and got two outs. Then we got up next bat. Up next is going to be number 12, Noah. Let's see if Noah can get anything running for the Cardinals here at the top of the third inning. Ooh. Ooh. Swing just a little bit low, but if he catches it, it's gone. That wasn't in his eyes. Oh. It's a little bit low <laughs> on that, or high on that one. That was a lot of dust. Man, maybe they should wet, wet that uh, dirt down. Can only imagine how cruddy it must be. The catcher's tough. He could take it. Tougher than me. Oh, there look at that goes. one. That one popped way out there. That's going to bring 12 over to second base and going to bring number eight all the way in. Oh, he's going oh, for right. a triple. 12 is going He in. might be able to make it to home if he keeps booking it. Yep, book it. I think he's got it. Awesome. And that's going to give a home run to number 12, Noah. And that's going to put Cardinals up there on the board. And it looks like they're going to be 5-4 to four with the Cubs. Oh, they're not going to count that one. He's going to stay over on third. Oh, well, they still got another run up on the board at least. Made the game 5-3 to three instead of 5-4. to four. Yep, and number nine, Tucker, is going to be up to bat. We're going to miss the two strikes for our batter for the Cardinals. They got two outs, and they got a runner on third. Let's see what happens here. Oh. Ball. 2-2 two, two count. Coach is keeping the Cubs on their feet, asking them how many outs they got. They're all screaming, two. <laughs> and that's going to be third one for the Cardinals. Bringing the Cubs up the bat. And the Cardinals out on the field. All right. 
Cardinals heading out to the field, and the Bear Cubs will be taking up their bats. And we'll get the start of the bottom of the third inning. Just dusting off the home plate and get the Bear Cubs starting to line up here on the side and we'll get them up here in the batting box. And things kicking off here. And also to inform all you viewers back at home, be sure to tune in tomorrow for a doubleheader at the Rochester Youth League base for Rochester Youth League baseball. And that'll be starting at around six. There'll be two games there, and you can hear more of Mine and Libby's delightful voices tomorrow on TV. And also we'll be back here in Akron next Wednesday at around 6.30 and we'll be going live following the Akron Youth League Mud Hens as they face the Brewers. I, I'm going to be there on Wednesday. Yeah, you'll get more of Libby there on Wednesday. I won't be there, mm -hmm. but yeah, you'll get one get of us. Get out of here, Dakota. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. See number eight for the Bear Cubs looking to stand around the batting box till we get our catcher out here from the Cardinals. First pitch, it's going to be ball one. All right, up to bat, it's going to be number eight, Logan Green. Got a one-one count on our batter. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Cubs are in a comfortable position, though, with five runs to three. But always helps to add more runs to the board. Definitely. Let's see if he can make contact. Oh. Just a little late on his swing. And that's going to be strike three. I don't think he realized he had three strikes. Standing there for a little while. Okay, and this is going to be number seven for the Cubs, uh, Colton Brown. Now, the way we can remember this is Colton is a lefty, and his brother, who I believe is younger than him, he's much smaller at least, is Nolan, and he is a righty. He popped right. that one right uh -oh. up and got over the first base. Awesome. All right, number five is up to bat next for the Bear Cubs. Number five had, not to make fun of the little guy, had a little bit of a trip. His shoes were untied coming out here to the box. Well, I'm not seeing number five on the roster, but I believe this is... Excuse me, I, I'm not sure which player this is. My apologies. Miss, strike two. Number 
All right, and that's going to be strike number three for number five. All right, and number seven is up to bat. This is going to be the number seven squared, uh, Nolan <laughs> Brown. Second number seven. Bear Cubs got two outs on the boards. Let's see if Mr. Brown can get things moving. Ooh, he caught it. Goes. He hit it, and it is in. He is headed over to first. And he's so small that he can just dart right over there. <laughs> Booking it, no one's going to stop him. Awesome. And that's going to be two Bear Cubs out there on the field on second and first. Let's see if you can get the bases filled. It's number nine, who I believe to be Braxton. Swing and a miss. I think number five was Elon, and he must have switched out his jersey from number nine before. So there was n two number nines and two number sevens. Back of his helmet says Martin. We got anyone with the last name Martin? Yep, that's Braxton right Aye. there. I remember the blue shoes. Mm. Strike two for Mr. Martin. And um, our runner on second will steal third. That's Elon out there. I think, right? Goodness. <laughs> it's a little confusing. That's one of the Browns. He's the, le he's the, that's the lefty Brown. All right, that's going to be Colton. Yes. Elon struck out. My apologies. Okay, number 10 is going to be up to bat next. Let's see what number 9 can do. Braxton sounded like he was answering somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's talking to somebody. Oh. Swing and a miss. And that's going to be strike three. That's going to bring the Cardinals in. Going to put them up to bat. And Bear Cubs are going to head on out onto the field. Yep. That's going to bring the end of our third inning as well. And with that, we'll take a quick sponsor break here. And we will be right back with you to start off our fourth inning. Thank you for tuning in to RTC TV4. We'll be right back. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherds offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, we're back with the start of the fourth inning. Cardinals are back up, taking up their bats. Looking to gain some runs here and catch up to the Bear Cubs. Looks like right now they're going to start the game with number 10 for the Cardinals. That's Xander Easterday. Mr. Easterday has got a ball and a strike on the board. Let's see what he can do here. Needs two more runs to catch up to the Bear Cubs. They're leading 5-3. to three. His name's kind of cool. It's good. It's got an X. Second strike. So he's got. I'm calling it. Thinking it's a ball, and it is. 2-2 two, oh. two count. Ooh, and that one would have been a solid hit if he just would have brought that bat down to the smallest amount. Or if the uh, pitching machine would be calibrated. <laughs> so, uh, no comment. No. Debatable. <laughs> I think the coach, the ump's good with it, so. Just uh, 
little bit off. I know. He is a lot. He, you know, Xander's a little bit taller than uh, the rest of the kids out there, so. He is. That's going to be that's gonna be in his advantage when it comes to sports, though. Oh, yeah, for Definitely. sure. For now, it may be a little bit difficult. That's fine. <laughs> he, he did really good up there in the box. Now we got number five for the Cardinals. Yep, that's going to be Ian Keckler. Awesome. Now, I don't know if number four should be a uh, catcher. He's, he can pitch pretty well. He's throwing really well. <laughs> <laughs> Sooner or later, maybe they'll move him out there. One one count here for our Cardinal batter. Only one out on the board. One's all across the board. Oh, and that one is gonna be his second strike. We have a lot of people out here this evening. Yeah, a lot of support for these kids, which is always good to see. Definitely, especially for the younger kids, and makes their passions grow just a little bit more. Absolutely, that'll be third strike for our Cardinal batter. Bring us a second out for the Cardinals. Awesome. Up next is gonna be number 11, Julian Garcia. Julian, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to the roots there. Oh, yeah, almost ball got one. it. Man, if you want your kid to get the most exercise, you may as well put him as a pitcher. He's running back and forth yeah, all night long. <laughs> That'll be tuckered out by the time this is over. All right, got all awesome. of it. Awesome, he got it in. He's headed over to first. Mr. Garcia getting a solid hit, standing at first base now. And number two is going to be up to bat next, Odin. A little bit late on his swing there. Strike one. Let's see what he can do. He's got two outs on the board. Oh, looks like he's hitting a little too high and going downward instead of Just chopping it. Two outs. Let's see what he can do. Called it a ball. One two count. Oh, just a tad off. That'll be three outs for the Cardinals. Swap things up, send them out to the field, bring the Bear Cubs up to bat. Cubs have been sitting with the lead this entire matchup here tonight. I'm sure they're probably looking to expand that lead by a few more runs. But we'll see what happens out here. In the last inning, Cardinals were able to put a stop to any more advancement on score. So let's see what happens. Bottom of the fourth. Catcher from the Cardinals out here. Should be ready to get things underway. Oop, a little bit of a gear mount. 
malfunction here on our catcher. Nah, he's good. All right, up to bat is going to be number 10, Carter. I don't know if. Yeah. Oh, he caught a hold of it. Oh, so and they didn't catch it, so he set it over first. <laughs> and he's going to stay at first, keep it safe. Safe on first. All right, Good number thinking. three, Liam, is going to be up next. Liam's got some support from the stands over here to our left. Let's see if that helps him out. Oh. Yeah, ball one. Sun's head down, and uh, looks like it might be getting in the pitcher's eyes. Oh, that one went up high. Popped it way up. Yep, and... He's going to kick it right over to Awesome. It looks like they're going to keep it on first and third. Cubs are playing safe. Number four is going to come up to bat. That is going to be Dane. Got to run on first and third to see what batter can do. Ball one. Oh, and that's going to be strike one. A little bit under on that swing. Let's see if we can calibrate it out here. That swing will be strike two. He just lifted up a little bit. I think he'd be good as gold. Made a ball two, two two count. Then that's going to be strike three on Dane. Up next is going to be number one, Jordan. Jordan's still got a runner on first and third. He's got to probably try, ideally, to get that third runner in. Increase the score. The ball one. I like how Jordan grabbed the ball and kind of <laughs> led it over to the catcher. He's like, like, I got it. Here, here. <laughs> <laughs> there we hey, go. And he hit it real hard and real nice. Okay, it looks like number 10's coming in. That's going to give them another run. That's going to be six to three, and we're going to have the second and third, or second and first base load. Let's see if we can fill the bases. Okay, number six up to bat is going to be Wyatt Martin. Next to that last pitch, but sends it back to the fence. That'll be a foul. That was a good throw in catch by the catcher and the pitcher, but they're doing opposite roles <laughs> there. <laughs> Ooh, and that goes right between the catcher's feet. Swing and a miss for our Bear Cub batter. Let's see if we can dial in a little bit more here and send one out.
they got a hold of it, sent it back to the fence again for another foul. He's staying alive. Oh, man. And look at that. We got a Cubs. A Bear Cub stealing third. We got a full count on our Bear Cub batter, too. Either we'll get walked, we'll get loaded bases, or he's going to strike out here. He'll give us our second out at the bottom of the fourth here. We'll see. We'll find out. Looks like he's going to give it up so um, number two can take a swing at it. Fletcher Wise, and they're just going to clear the board on the balls and uh, strikes. Oh, that's a big dust cloud. Coach is telling White to come in and go forward. Ooh, and White it. hits it. He's headed over first. But brings in another Bear Cub. Now, I believe that they should have six to three on the board, personally. Um, maybe Seb. they're not yet. Yeah, now they have six to three. But uh, earlier, they, they should have had six to three. I do believe the scoreboard is behind by one here out on the field, but I do believe they're at seven to three. Yeah. So our scoreboard won't be behind, but theirs is, I think. Right now we have number eight up to bat. That's going to be Logan. Unless it didn't count earlier. Nope, there it is. They updated it. Okay, there we go. Maybe they're listening to us. Yeah, maybe. And tuning in to RTC TV 4. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just had a uh, Bear Cubs steal third, and now we have one out in first, one out in third. Number eight, Logan's still up to bat. He has a ball and a strike. Bear Cubs have two outs this this inning. And that's going to give him his uh, second strike. See, see where he goes with it. Yeah, see what happens. There you got All it. All right, and there it is. He is headed over to first, and oh, he didn't catch it, so that brings in another Bear Cub. That's going to be eight to three. And there's going to be two boys out there on second and third. Up to bat next is going to be number seven, one of the brothers, Colton. He's the only lefty on the team. That's how I knew his name so fast. Hmm. Pitch has got to tie a shoe. With all the I running around yeah, he's doing, I yeah. Like, I'd, I'd probably have to tie my shoe, too. <laughs> all right, here we go. First pitch. And, oh, he swung for it. Kind of brisk to the bottom of the bat, but did not get anywhere. Bear Cubs at an 8-3 to three lead here. It's their home game, so, you know, you anticipate that they're going to Probably had that advantage. Oh, he hits it. Kind of like a little bunt. <laughs> he's able to bring in another oh, runner. Oh, and he's called a safe. That's going to bring in two runners, so it's going to be 10-3. to three. With one Bear Cub out on first. Number five is up to bat next. Number five is going to be Elon. I know we had some confusion on that earlier, but... I think he's done changing jerseys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Got some excitement out here in the stands now. Ooh, that's going to be strike two. Got two outs on the board. Let's see what he can do. And that is going to be strike three.
taking in the Bear Cubs and the Cardinals over to their sides of the field. And looks like they're going to go for another inning. All right, as the Bear Cubs and Cardinals fully swap sides here, that'll bring us the end of the fourth, and we'll get to the start of the fifth. But until then, we're going to take a quick break here and get a word from sponsors, and we'll be right back with you to bring you the fifth inning. Thank you for tuning in on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, and with our break going, um, we had number one up to bat, Owen. Owen actually hit the ball and made it over to first. So right now we have a Cardinal on first base with number eight, Logan, up to bat. He hit it in his first pitch. Awesome. And there we go, we got the Cardinals hitting them on their first pitches every time. Giving us two Cardinals out there on first and second. Seem to be dialed in here on this inning, see if they can keep it up. Yeah, they're kind of seeing, uh-oh. <laughs> they're like, we gotta get this going. All right, number 12 is up to bat next. Number 12 is gonna be Noah. Noah's gonna get a ball with that one. Nice. Awesome, that number 12. Ooh, that is all the way out there. I think that's actually going to bring in some Cardinals. Okay, it's going to bring in two Cardinals. That's going to put them out on the board. That's going to be 10 to 5, halfway there. 12 kept it over there on first base. And number 9 is up to bat, Tucker. Okay. Let's see what he can do. Ooh. That's going to be a ball for Tucker. Now we do have another game rolling here live after the Cardinals and the Bear Cubs play. Oh, awesome. There he goes. Number nine's headed over to first. Twelve's on second. And 10's up to bat. That's right. We'll be having another game out here later on tonight, so be sure to tune into that. But instead of our lovely voices, you'll be hearing the lovely voices of Jeremy Swango and Abby Cox as they will be commentating over the Lug Nuts and Braves game here at the Akron Youth League. Yep. So be sure to stay tuned in for that later on tonight. All right, that's going to be number 10, Xander's first ball. Ooh, and that's going to be his first strike. He's got to run on first and second. It's much easier to tell a ball from a strike in these little, yes. little with the littler kids. 
thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be second strike. See if he gets his third strike or if he can make it and fill the bases. <coughs> that's going to be third strike. He is going to be out. Barely missed it. Put the first out for the Cardinals on the board. Still got a runner on first and second. Okay, and number five is up to bat next. That's going to be Ian Keckler. Good ball one. Ooh, hit him in the head. Looks like it's going to rain over there towards Rohan. <laughs> Goodness. Stormy. Swing and a miss. Ooh, and that one just popped right over, the <laughs> popped right over the catcher's head. And that's gonna be ball two. That's a two and one. And that's going to be strike two. 2-2 two, two count, or a little better from the Cardinals. I don't know if it's a 2-2 two, two count. They took away that other ball. I don't understand what the scoreboard's doing. <laughs> there we go. There it is. But they never put the second strike up, so. Nah. We'll see. That's all right. We got a runner on second, stealing third out here. No way. Nope, he's, he's heading back. back. That is not allowed. <laughs> they said, no, no, no. He's like, don't no, do that. go back. <laughs> I hope Abby and Jeremy don't get rained out. Yeah, those dark clouds coming up over there. I'm sure they'll be fine. And that's going to be his third strike. He's headed out. So it'll be second out for the Cardinals here tonight for I've the uh, top of the fifth. Oh, I think what was happening is they were putting the ball instead of the strike, um, pressing that button. Oh, uh, okay. Ball one for our next batter up here, number 11 for Cardinals. Who that? All right, number 11 for the Cardinals is Julian Garcia. Yeah, swinging a miss for Mr. Garcia. And that's going to be ball two. There you got a hold of that one. Awesome. He's headed over to first. We're going to bring in. Ooh. And we are going to bring in number 12. And that's keeping two Cardinals up there on first and second. We have number two up to bat, Odin. And it looks like Owen, number one's over there practicing his wings, but also being a little piggy and rolling in dirt. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got it, two strikes on Odin. And one out for the Cardinals this inning. Actually, I think the scoreboard's off. I think that's two strikes and one out for the Cardinals right now. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. No, that's three that's outs. That's three <laughs> outs and three strikes. I'm I'm not going to focus on that scoreboard anymore. Uh, nah. Nah. We're getting a cold gust of wind coming in. Yeah, we this are. This rain is going to start quick, and it's going to start fast if it does come. Well, I don't think it'll rain. But you I don't think, think it will rain? I don't think it will. But either way, it's going to be the game here tonight. The Bear Cubs All are going right. to take it away with 10 runs, the Cardinals 6. So. Perfect. Well, we thank you all for joining us on RTC TV4 for this for this matchup here at the Akron Youth League. Stay tuned as you'll hear the lovely voices of Jeremy Swango and Abby Cox as they bring you the next game here tonight. So, 
stay tuned and uh, we'll see, we will see you next time. But feel free to stay tuned for the next game. Thank you. Bye.